all right good day welcome loves welcome aquarius all right welcome to my channel all right so we're getting close to the end of the new year right hopefully you guys are staying in meditating focusing um your thoughts your energy on the good things that you want to bring into um the new year all right the things hopefully you've been doing this for a while but think about the things that um you need to rid that no longer serve you and stick to it all right the one thing that the one thing people fail at when it comes to the new year and stick you got to stick to it you got to be consistent all right Ooh, we have the change card coming out here all right so the thunder moon all right so obviously don't resist this change all right because it's almost as if this feminine on here is like trying to resist something coming in there's like resistance here just let things fly in the way they're supposed to all right this it could feel like a bit of a storm but we'll see what else comes out here the creation so there could be a change in creation. I'm getting like, all right, peace. All right. So it's kind of like I stated, sit back, reflect, assess about these new beginnings and go for the things that are pure. All right. The things that you crave, make sure that they're pure and positive and good. All right. But it's about entering this new blissful way of living and being assessing life assessing things before you do things all right change brings peace so to have peace with the waning crescent we need to rid the things that don't serve us right so that way the change can come in all right so let's see what we got going on here Let's do two more shuffles and get started. All right. So some of you guys might see being single as the best way to go. And I'm not going to lie to you guys. All right. <laughs> I love the people that I've had in my life that I had in my life. And people think it's weird how I don't hold spite to exes, anything like that, right? I don't, like, we all still get along and shit because it, there, there's no reason to cause tension and bullshit, right? It's like, I just see it as, okay, we either grew apart or it just, was, we're just better off friends than lovers, right? So I feel like, and it is, you know, I was a single person for a really long time, even a single mother, right? Because I was content. I would be content today still, right? It's just who I am, right? We have to be co content and comfortable just with ourselves. All right, we can't be seeking people to bring us comfort and peace. All right, we have to be able to be that alone and be content with being alone. So I feel like you, you think, you feel like being single is a good way to be. Um, but I also am kind of getting that maybe some of you guys are going into something by yourself that is going to grow all right because after the nine of pentacles we get the ten of pentacles and aquarius you guys always get freaking pentacles in your readings um but you guys are like a rare like a very rare zodiac sign my youngest son is an aquarius and yeah you can see the difference between everybody in the household i mean he is content being alone Part of that might be for me, but it's who he is. It's what was written in the stars when I gave birth to him, right? But, and it's like, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, there's even like old ass people that have lived to like a hundred years old and they'll ask them, what, would, what, what is a tip that you would give to people? Never get married. Because that brings stress. It brings conflict. It brings battle. It brings a lot of shit that we really, yeah. It really affects your focus, your hard work, everything like that, right? Because then you end up having kids and, all right, so we'll see what comes out if this is what the, sometimes these are just little messages. We have here the two of swords. 
All right, kind of at a crossroads. All right, I feel like you're afraid to let this change happen. Could be an independent artist. We have the six of wands. So you're wondering if you can, if you're going to be successful at this. So you, sometimes we just got to kind of like let our vibes kind of tell us and lead us. Yeah, confirmation message. Let your gut instinct lead you the way. Okay, be practical. You're wondering, will you have support? That's what's stopping you from doing something. You're wondering if you're going to be supported in this or not. I feel like you do have like a good group of people that could help here with the Six of Wands. The Six of Wands is kind of like, you know, in the public eye. All right. And let's see what else comes out here for the Aquarius, for the Six of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Two of Swords. Let's try that again. For the Two of Swords, the Six of Wands, and the Nine of Pentacles. For the Six of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, Two of Swords, with the Peace and the Change. I mean, being practical and, you know, not just jumping the gun is, you know, good at times. But there's something that you want to start. Maybe it's a business here with the Nine of Pentacles. You want to be able to rely on your own self, your own way of, like, your own money, all that. Confidence is key to your success. All right, be bold, be confident. We have here the nine of in the confirmation message. All right, so keep pushing towards what it is that you want here. I feel like your paranoia is getting kind of kind of getting the best of you here. Um, but it's saying to take action. All right, be fearless, be bold like a warrior. You got this. All right, keep going for the things that you want, the things that fulfill you the most. You know, it's like I've told people, you can you can make all this money, right? But if you're fucking miserable at what you're doing, is it really worth it? Is it really worth the money if you're fucking miserable at the end of the day still? Like, like I hate going to work. Oh, I don't want to go to work. Like, I fucking love going to my job. All right? Because I found something that I love to do. Something that really fulfills me. All right? And that's what creates a good environment in your home your family life, all that, is loving the things that you do. So sometimes it's not about all the money that you can make. It's about doing the things that you love, the things that you wish for, right? The things that you wish you could be doing. Well, there's always pros and cons to everything. There's always a positive and a negative, right? That's why when we freaking charge our car batteries, if they're dead, right? You got to need a positive and a negative to get that fucker moving, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you're being presented an opportunity that you need to just go for. Queen of Pentacles here. Yeah, see, you always got pentacles in your reading. So, yeah, it very well could be business here with the Queen of Pentacles. Let your intuition lead you. Let it guide you, all right? There could be some contracts that are going to be needed to be signed. I personally am not a person who likes contracts because they bind you, but I mean, sometimes that's what you gotta do if you wanna have a successful business, because the queen of pentacles is like a business woman, all right? The king of pentacles is like the business man. Oh. Yeah, see, I feel like you're just wanting to know all the what ifs. Yeah, it's like, I feel like you're really kinda a little consumed with money too. You know, we can't consume our lives with money, you know, and just live to make money. You know, that's not always the best way to go about it. Like, people got to understand, you can be in relationships and all that, and you don't have to fucking sign your life away. 
Oh, we have the death card. Give me for the death card for Aquarius. What is this about? I feel like it's the change that you're not allowing to come in. Being able to rely on yourself, that alone can bring peace of mind. But we have two nines here. Give me for the death card for Aquarius. You're getting an opportunity here to make this change. We have here the two of wands. So I feel like you're like expecting things to fall and crumble. But I feel like you need to let something go, let it crumble so something new can be built. And you're weighing your op options. It's about figuring out your priorities and developing a plan here. What in the fuck is going on here? It's like visualize good things here. All right, let's try that again. Give me for the two of wands and the tower here. How does that go? Hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. I keep I I keep getting that. So with this two of wands and this tower, God, that's still a, quite a few. We have here the Knight of Swords. So there could be changes coming here when it comes to contracts. Give me a little more here. Give me a little more here for the Knight of Swords and the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, it shows change coming. And it's like you don't want, it's like you're trying to stop it. But it's going to bring you peace. Yeah, the people that you work with, collaborate with, your team. But this is going to bring, yeah, good. there's going to be changes coming in here. All right, with the Empress. So there might be some issues with maybe your boss. the Empress, the Three of Pentacles here. Could we have some shift in your finances? I feel like you can feel it. We have here the Eight of Cups. Leave it behind. And walk the path of this change to bring liberation and peace. So where is Aquarius supposed to go? What is Aquarius going to do? Because this is something that is fated to happen. It's the Wheel of Fortune. There you are, Aquarius, with the star card here. So yeah, you're going to be presented an opportunity here. All right, maybe some of you guys with the Princess of Pentacles, it could be like a small business here. Um, I feel like you're getting backstabbed, betrayed, manipulated, because there you are, Aquarius. So this abrupt ending, <clears throat> maybe you've been waiting, literally. I feel like you're a hermit here. It's like, I feel like you're in a toxic environment. I feel like it's just putting you into poverty. And you're smarter than that. Like, you see something hidden behind whoever's back here there could be a total of seven people 
but yeah, it good things are going to come in regardless. And it's going to bring peace. But you've got opportunity coming in here with the Princess of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. And it's going to be solid. It's going to be stable. It may not be the Ten of fucking Pentacles, but we got the sun here. You're going to be fucking happy. You're going to be peace at peace. All right. It's like, I'm just seeing how maybe some of you guys like to meditate. Yeah, we have here. Look at this beautiful energy here. Look at that. Be an inspiration. Focus on creativity. Use your creativity to get things moving and going. All right. But I feel like there's divine energies with the temperance here inspiring you here to go for the things that are going to make you happy. The things that you really, really would love to um, experience and have in your life. That is when you're going to be able to celebrate and have a good time and be able to enjoy and relax. We have success. A lot of burdens will be lifted off of you here. So if you're wondering, yes, it's like, but there's a, it's a give or take, right? Like the four of cups, ten of ones, and the chariot. Like we win some, we lose some. All right. It's like you may not be stacking the ten of fucking pentacles, but you can rely on yourself. You can make your own money. And you don't have all these burdens and responsibilities piling up on you. And you got peace. So a little less money, but you got peace. You can't put a price tag on peace. All right. All right, let's wrap this up here. Let's wrap this up. So a positive new beginning. Positive thoughts, positive outcome. All right. It's about renewal, renewing yourself, reshaping yourself. And this is perfect for the end of the year because we have the wheel of fucking fortune here. The wheel is turning. Literally, at the stroke of midnight, we are in the next year. I ain't one to stay up late for that shit. Like, I keep kind of a steady they sleep pattern because they say that's the most healthiest way, right? To keep us mentally stable, emotional, all that, right? Even on the weekends, try to keep that same sleep schedule because then it doesn't disrupt our freaking biological clocks inside. I mean, obviously, they're not the way they're supposed to be because we don't live under the stars anymore. But you know what I mean? You get the drift. All right. So, yeah, it's showing here, Aquarius, that, you know what, you're, you're going to be restored here. All right. You're a healer. You're just a beacon of light. So... Peace overrides burdens, responsibility, hurdles, all that shit. Ah. All right, let's wrap it up here. I just got a glimpse of the Ten of Pentacles, so I feel like, yeah, it has something to do with business. All right, small business with the Princess of Pentacles. Because big business is a bitch. Like, I don't know why anybody would ever want that. Like, who the fuck wants to live... And that chaotic headache of a goddamn mess. Like, I gotta do something that brings peace and calmness, right? Something that isn't so fucking hostile and overwhelming like crowds of people. I can't do crowds of people. Mm -mm. I barely like going to fucking Walmart. <laughs> I go to the grocery store because there's less people. Yeah. We have here the Two of Pentacles. So yeah, it's like you're weighing your options and you're gonna eventually figure things out. Everything is going to eventually balance itself out. All right, with a little give or take, you've got this. Last one here, please. The Ten of Cups. See, you're going to be so goddamn fulfilled. Wow, look at that. Look at that. You're going to take your power back here with the Queen of Wands. All right, and it's like you're going to feel so good about yourself. Like, the, king, the Queen of Wands goes for the things that she wants, the things that she desires, and is charismatic and does, gives zero fucks, all right? But yet you have the intelligence on top of that, all right? So you're like a sexy, charismatic being, intelligent, charismatic being. And you know what you're doing. You've got the brains, all right? Because there you are again. You're showing up strong in this reading, 
All right, so don't sign any contracts. Get out, do your own thing. If you got that opportunity, go for it because that's what's showing up in the cards. All right, so obviously it isn't going to be for everybody. And people got to understand that these readings are not for everybody. It's a God. Look what we have here. That always makes me think of the Queen of Wands. Reclaim your power with the Panther. So that's already showing up, number 44. All right, maybe some of y'all are 44 years old. I don't know. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, you guys could be anywhere between like 44, maybe 46, maybe 48 tops. All right, that's really what I'm getting here out of the numbers. All right, let's get some animals for Aquarius here. All right, two more shuffles here. Take some time out, says the bear. This is a perfect time, too, during winter. Wow. So we have claim the independence. All right, with the cat spirit. It's those instincts driving you. All right. So it's that nine of pentacle energy. It's that independent artist, that independent energy. You've got this. You got the spirit of a panther, the spirit of a cat. Trust in the magic with the white raven. So trust in that divine energy and where it's guiding you. We have number 66 here. Okay. We have the owl with the grasshopper. All right, you see clearly, or you will see clearly, and that's what's going to help you take the leap of faith. Okay? Time to let go of the old and in with the new. Use your mind wisely here. There's love all around you here with the nightingale spirit. Give with gratitude and grace. So, yeah. So, pay attention if you see any of these. Obviously, depending on where you live. Grasshoppers, obviously. Hibernating depending where you're at. Owls actually are more abundant in the winter where I'm at because it gets dark earlier, stuff like that. So, and it's just a change in at, um, environment. But uh, white raven, that's going to be rare, but it doesn't have to be in nature or in real life. It can be on a billboard, a t-shirt, just something anywhere that catches your eye of something like that, right? Same with the panther and the cat. All right, this is kind of like an orange one with a little white on the chest. It reminds me of my little Benny. Looks just like that. All right, so I'm going to leave that there. All right, you guys have a good new year.